Good day, everyone. We thank you for tuning in to The Truth in Mortgage Land. As a mortgage broker for the past 15 years, I've experienced the refi phenomenon. Bubble in 2007 is some of the craziest mortgage products I've ever heard. As a result of this, we've had over 350 mortgage lenders and banks go out of business. Names like Washington Mutual, Countrywide, IndyMac have gone the way of dinosaurs. Regulators throughout the Bureau of Real Estate and the Department of Corporations thought more disclosures would dissuade the deceptive business practices and give borrowers a clear understanding of the products that are out there. Some good, some a bit confusing. The three major changes have been basically on the good faith estimate. In the last five years, the good faith estimate has gone from a simplified, easy to read form, showing your closing costs on one side, prepaids on the bottom, and a breakdown or a summary monthly payments and interest from the UPR on the left. Gone. Today, we've gone to a much more verbose good faith estimate, which is three pages long. And leads me into the next mortgage change, which is all mortgage originators need to show their origination fee and the commission that they're receiving from a lender. That's displayed here in box number two. As you can see on page two of the new good faith estimate. However, everything else is basically the same, just a little bit more confusing. And finally, which is actually a very positive thing, is that all commissions need to be across the board. Whatever arrangements you have with a particular lender, the originator must also charge both or all borrowers the same origination fee. Whether it's 2% for borrower A, then borrower B is also charged 2%. Do you ever wonder how mortgage originators get paid? Most mortgage brokers, lenders, and originators earn about 1% to 3% commission on, on each loan. And it depends on what your, your contract is with a particular lender. You can see at 1%, 1% 1 of $200,000 is $2,000. So the par rate or loan without points for a particular borrower could be 4.25%. Based on the same information, if that originator has a contracted commission rate of 3%, their commission is $6,000 on that particular loan, and the par rate or loan without points is starting at 4.5%. So in fact, the consumer does carry the brunt of that commission although it's being paid directly to the originator from the lender. Mortgage originators are a great source for guidance of loan products and competing for your business. In fact, more often than not, you receive a lower rate from a mortgage broker than that of a bank, more often a direct lender. The truth in mortgage lending is that banks and lenders are in the business to make money, honestly or deceptively. Regulators continue to put up roadblocks to stymie and scrupulous business behavior with the intent of making the borrower more aware of the loan that they are receiving. However, just like in any industry out there, there are some bad apples. I'll continue to keep you posted. I'm Mark Gurich with The Truth in Mortgage Lending.